grace and peace. I am Kimberly Joy and I thank you for tuning into the Kimberly Joy Show. Now first I have an announcement. K Joy Productions presents I'm Not My Mama, a stage play by yours truly Kimberly Joy. I'm Not My Mama centers on Terry, a businesswoman, wife and mother who's on the pathway to destruction. You will laugh, you may even cry, but by the end of the play, you will be enlightened. Now, this is not my one woman show, but it's better with the full cast. The play stars myself, Kimberly Joy, Sylvia Woods, Mark Ward, and Sherry Roper. Musical performances by Greg Lattimore, Kevin Janae, Blessed, and the Prophetic Mind Ministry. And hosted by China Horton O'Leighton. The play will be Saturday, March 20th at 5 p.m., Doors open at 4.30. It will be held at Power and Faith Ministries, 8120 Hamilton Avenue in Mount Healthy at the Hilltop Plaza. Now, to see the play in person, just look for The Kimberly Joy Show on Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal. Or you may call 513-417-0097. Again, 513-417-0097. Advanced tickets are $10 and it's $15 at the door. Now, if you prefer to see it online, just go to eventbrite.com and search for I'm Not My Mama. And I thank you in advance for your support. Now, every year at this time, I, I really look forward to it because, well, February we know is Black History Month. And so I like to pay tribute to black pioneers, black icons over the years. And and I enjoy doing the research because I'm always learning something new that I didn't know before. This year, God gave me four people. Thomas Dorsey, Mahalia Jackson, Albertina Walker, and today I will talk about James Cleveland. And at first I wondered why, but as I did my research, I recognize that all of their lives somehow intertwined. Thomas Dorsey worked with Mahalia Jackson. Mahalia Jackson mentored Albertina Walker. Albertina Walker and James Cleveland were friends and they sang together in the caravans. And then I found out that James Cleveland sang in Thomas Dorsey's choir. And so speaking of James Cleveland, he was born on December 5th, 1931 in Chicago, Illinois. As I mentioned, he met Thomas Dorsey at a young age when he joined his choir at Pilgrim Baptist Church. Now, during this time, he also learned how to play the piano by actually teaching himself. Now, they didn't have a piano at home, so he would play on imaginary keys. This is what he said. My folks being just plain, everyday people, we couldn't afford a piano. So I used to practice each night right there on the windowsill. I took those wedges and crevices and made me black and white keys. And then in time, his parents were able to buy him a piano. James Cleveland was not only known for being a musician, but he became known for his unique sounding voice. In 1950, he joined the group, The Gospel Heirs, and he helped arrange some of their songs, including Give Me That Old Time Religion and It's Me, O Lord. Cleveland began writing songs, and not just for himself, but for other people like Roberta Martin, who was a well-known gospel gospel singer from Chicago. He wrote songs for her like Stand By Me. Then at this time, he joined the caravans. He came along as their writer, as their piano player, and also as a singer slash narrator. James Cleveland's style of writing was different from other gospel artists because he combined gospel music with rhythm and blues or what we call R&B. In fact, in 1959, he re-recorded Hallelujah, I Love Her So by Ray Charles. In 1962, he had his first major hit with Peace Be Still, which sold nearly a million copies among a largely African-American audience. And check this out, without promotion. In 1964, James Cleveland organized the James Cleveland Singers, which included Odessa McCastle, Roger Roberts, Clyde Brown, Charles Barnett, Marva Hines, and Cleo Kennedy. And they recorded songs like, Heaven That Will Be Good Enough For Me, Two Wings, and The Lord Is Blessing Me Right Now. In 1968, 
Cleveland founded Gospel Music Workshop of America with Albertina Walker. The purpose of the workshop, and I quote, was to bring together singers from all over the country to one stage. And the workshop is still going strong today. In the early 1960s, James Cleveland became an ordained minister. In 1969, he founded the Southern California Community Choir. Then the following year, he founded the Cornerstone Institutional Baptist Church in Los Angeles, where he served as pastor. In 1972, James Cleveland collaborated with Aretha Franklin on her historic Grammy-winning and multi-million selling album, Amazing Grace, which is known as the greatest gospel album of all time. In 1983, and I remember watching this as a, as a girl, he appeared in the documentary Gospel, along with the Southern California Community Choir, Walter Hawkins, The Mighty Clouds of Joy, Shirley Caesar, and the Clark Sisters. Reverend James Cleveland altogether wrote hundreds of songs, recorded dozens of albums, and won four Grammy Awards. Reverend James Cleveland died of heart failure on February 9, 1991 in Culver City, California. Again, as I mentioned, Cleveland became known for combining gospel music with R&B music. And one of those songs was Jesus is the Best Thing which he took from Gladys Knight's best thing that ever happened to me. And personally speaking, I still enjoy that song to this day. Why? Well, <laughs> the lyrics speak for themselves. The lyric, lyrics explain it all. Jesus is indeed the best thing that has ever happened to me. I want to thank you for listening to today's broadcast. Now, if you're ready, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, please pray this prayer. Dear Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you were buried. And I believe you rose again for my liberty. Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Uh, thank you, Lord. I am now saved. Now I encourage you to attend a good Bible-believing church. You are welcome to our church. Power and Faith Ministries with Apostle Ron and Pastor Jerry Banks. Again, we are at 8120 Hamilton Avenue at the Hilltop Plaza in Mount Healthy. Sunday service, 10 a.m. Wednesday Bible study, 7 p.m. And remember this, every Thursday we are giving away free groceries from 4 to 6 p.m. To contact me, please email the Kimberly Joy Show at gmail.com or call 513 513- 417-0097. You may follow the Kimberly Joy Show at on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. You may donate to the Kimberly Joy Show on Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal. And now here is one of my favorites of all time, James Cleveland singing, Jesus is the best thing. 